Mike Sensi. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> so I um I've I've been hearing some rumors. Okay, what do you got? All right, so um before I before I get into that though, I got I gotta I gotta ask you a question. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Why do so many women complain about guys not being able to find the clit? Ooh, I don't know. I, I don't mean, have a clit, so I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just like a simple fix would be like, "Hey, buddy, right there," and point to it. Yeah, it's teamwork. It makes a dream work. Right. Yeah. You know, so like, um, you know, why do you think that so many women like a uh, fake orgasm or something? Well, probably just th- they've had enough, I, and I get it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because I mean, it'd just be simple to be like, "Hey, like, you know, this is what I would like you to do." Yeah, a thousand percent. So, like, uh, do you think it's ever um, rude to fake an orgasm while you're masturbating? (laughs) Well, no. I mean, like I said, sometimes you just want to go to sleep. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, fuck. Your Uber's outside. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) But to myself. (laughs) Very confused Uber driver. (laughs) He never shows up. Yeah, much like my fucking food. That's right. Oh, my God. Yeah, I have had a fucking day, man. You really have, yeah. Like, I've been dealing with EP Mike's bullshit all day. Me too. And, um... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He's down there just looking adorable in our new studio. Yeah, in the new the new temporary studio for yeah. those watching. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, we're in a bit of a transition period. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, um, for those of you who don't know, co- um, EP Mike and myself, Dan Sharp, I'm your host. <laughs> for <laughs> hi, new listeners. <laughs> He's very tired. Yeah, uh, um, EP Mike and I, uh, we co-owned a business where we put veterans to work, and we just sold that today. Nice, congratulations. So the the uh, thank you. The uh, most of the money will be going to cocaine and hookers. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out. No, 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 I was about to dime somebody out. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I was about to dime somebody out, but it turned into six, nine. Like. <laughs> but yeah. And so the, the new owners are going to continue the pledge to continue hiring veterans and their family members. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. So, and then, so I was like, all right, I'm going to fucking celebrate with some sweet, sweet, delicious Taco Bell. As you should. Yeah. And then my fucking Postmates driver just canceled on me. Yeah, no, I it's I, I had to sit there and watch that unravel. It was an absolute horror show, and I'm sorry yeah. you had to go through that. A descent into insanity. A hundred percent for everybody involved. Yeah, I just like put my pants off and just shit right on the carpet. He did. It will not come out for weeks. Yeah, seriously, like several cleaning crews have attempted. <laughs> I'm not getting my deposit back. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, well, this is bullshit. Like I've been waiting for like half an hour, and I, you know, glanced down my phone. Because uh, we were actually talking to the winner of the uh, the golden cream pie. Yes, you yeah. will be at the end of this episode. Yeah, the end of this episode. She yeah. called in. We uh, uh, accosted her for about 14, 15 minutes. She's a good sport. Yeah, very good sport good with sport. our uh, rapid fire insulting questions. Yeah, just off the top of the dome, too. Yeah, <laughs> we don't yeah, like yeah. to prepare. And so I looked at my phone and the order was canceled. Mm. So I was like, all right, cool. Not fucking cool. Not in the slightest. <laughs> One star review. <laughs> you used your, your angry mom powers. Yeah, uh, channeled my inner Karen. As you should. Yeah, and then so I was like, all right, cool, 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 Grubhub, like, I got this, right? Yeah. And then I ordered, but then I forgot to update the address to where we're currently at. Yeah. <laughs> so I get a phone call, I'm like, hey, man, like, I'm here at your address, knock, and nobody's answered, and I look yeah. down at my phone, it's my the, my other fucking address, and I was like, just leave it outside. It's 20 minutes away, yeah. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. So now I'm $50 deep into this. <laughs> <laughs> and still unfed. Yeah, and so I just placed a third order. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. I didn't see that. Uh Okay, it was yeah, accepted. Being prepared. Wow. Yeah, okay, yeah. It'll wow. be here by ten twenty. So we got a good fifty minutes to podcast. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I, th- I think EP Mike's asleep. He is. Yeah. He's had a bit of a day. He has. Yeah. So he actually, uh, we talked about this later on, but congrats to him. He just got picked up at the uh, Virginia Aviation Museum. Fuck yeah. As a docent. Nice. Yeah. So if um, and I was talking to a few other people, like um, a buddy of mine, um, he runs a company named uh, Espeto, which they make bulletproof clothing. Mm-hmm. And, like, le- legitimately, like, it actually has, like, saves on it. Like, I think it was one of the three-letter agencies was in Columbia, and mm-hmm. he's wearing one of their bulletproof tank tops. And when I say bulletproof, it's low caliber. You know, like, of don't course. be a dick. Yeah, exactly. You know? like, <laughs> Didn't I, stop a rocket. Yeah, you know, fucking Abrams. Well, right. Yeah. <laughs> Abrams. When I ran him over my Abrams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, uh, EP Mike's down there, like, well, I got my K98 or yeah, whatever. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, whatever. <those> references. <laughs> Like, man, like somebody got broke their house broken into. And he's like, it wouldn't break into my house. I got 57 guns. I'm like, all right, well, if you're on the toilet taking a shit, like, you don't have your fucking your Russian sniper rifle. Exactly. Like, yeah. But yeah, so uh, it's the fiber. It's got the weave in it. And it was a tank top. And uh, somehow he got burnt. And uh, the dude pulled out his, you know, his small piece and mm-hmm. plugged in his chest and ran away. Well, it stopped the round and saved the agent's life. Very cool. Yeah. So if you're looking for uh, bulletproof clothing, uh, check out a Spetto. And, um, 
I thought I think I forgot where I was going with this. No, I, I do too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, no. So I was talking to him because he. Um, oh yeah. yeah. He uh, he was posting uh, things about being on a business trip at an aviation museum. Oh, okay. And I was like, Yo, dude, you gotta come to Virginia Beach and check this out. They got like the large collection of warbirds, mm. and my buddy knows everything about all of them. Put him on the spot. Yeah. Yeah. So if you come down uh, to that area and you see EP Mike. Uh, um, Tooting around, yeah, tooting around, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go up there and uh, and ask him questions. Slap him on the butt. Yep. <laughs> be it, be advised, though he he is required to speak in a German accent. Yes. And uh, so he's not to be trying to be offensive. No, it's just it's just what he likes to do. <laughs> <laughs> this is how he gets himself off. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he just looks in the mirror, pinches his nipples. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Are you allowed to come yet? <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're a little punch drunk. Oh, man, I'm so tired. I'm so fucking ready for this yeah, yeah. food to get here. And you haven't eaten, yeah. I had yeah. a bunch of suicide wings. My butthole itches. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more about your itchy butthole. Nah, it's just itchy. That's pretty much it. Yeah? End of story. <laughs> you know who else's butthole itches? You know what? Well, okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say everybody before toilet paper was invented. Oh, wow. Well, probably factual more than anything. Yeah, they use, actually, fun fact, they used to use ferrets as toilet paper. No, they didn't. No, I'm kidding. I that was my <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut, you just shut the fuck up. <laughs> what were you going to say? Uh, not, well, I was going to say you didn't do the intro to the show. What's that? You didn't do the intro to the show. Did I not say welcome to the smoke pit? A, you did not. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you listening, <laughs> myself, Dan Sharp, your host, your co-host, Mike fucking Sensi. Mike motherfucking Sensi. Which, Remember the goddamn name. Which that's how you have to refer to him. If um, you see me in the streets, come correct. <laughs> first name and last name. Yes. Like a military email address. Absolutely. That's right. <laughs> Dot gov, that shit. <laughs> Dot gov, motherfuckers. <laughs> But you know, uh, we're, as you were saying, respect is uh, is a very important thing, <laughs> and um, and I think that you know, you and I, uh, well, mainly you, because you're older than me. We grew up in a time. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, okay. <laughs> sure. No, I'm I'm a hard twenty six, and right. you're forty seven. Well, that's fair. I do feel forty seven. And you look forty seven. I lo- <laughs> I feel forty seven, but I look forty eight. <laughs> and your liver looks eighty two. My liver looks deceased. <laughs> We had, we had went live on Instagram before this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there are a lot of comments about your your liver function, mostly from me. Haters gonna hate, man. <laughs> this thing is iron. I was in the clad. bathroom. <laughs> yeah, you were spashed to the bathroom. <laughs> we tried to go live side by side, but the feedback was bad. Horrendous. So I got banished to the the bathroom, and so I'm sitting on the john. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> like twelve feet away. <laughs> Behind no. multiple layers, though. No, but so, like, you know, you, you grew up, and, like, the idea of a veteran when... Uh, did I say that right? Is it veteran or veteran? Vet... I... Well, so I hear it both ways, but... No, I'm just saying that to piss AJ off when he's listening. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> fucking... I say veteran. Yeah. People say veterans, and it makes me think of veterinarians. Yeah, I think that that's more so how they say it in the South. Uh, maybe. I don't know. If you don't stand for the national anthem, you're spitting on our veterans. Yeah, maybe. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> now that you say it like that, now that I hear the racism in your voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, especially here in Virginia. <laughs> things go a little slower <laughs> when we're banging our cousins. Like molasses. <laughs> <laughs> like a- Andy from the office. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> More like molasses coming <laughs> off of your tongue. <laughs> No, but like so, uh, you you'd see the the vets piping around, and you know, uh, for for us, like our grandfathers were the World War II veterans, for sure. And now the um, you know the generation of girls that you and I chase, uh, their grandfathers were Vietnam veterans. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Fair. Fair enough. And um, so, like the idea that like like when somebody says their grandfather, legitimately, like you know, some of these younger troops, like they could legitimately mean somebody who was in Vietnam, as were like the. Um, my um, my stepdad was in Vietnam, you know. Yeah. And so, like to me, that was just like the guy who's only like twenty years older than me was Vietnam. And when I think of like a grandfather, I think of like you know, and, and we've almost kind of blown by the Korea generation. Yeah, for sure. Where like you know the American Legion, the VFW, isn't going to last very long because you know the larger groups of of, um, of of veterans are passing away. Yeah, yeah. And so to speak to that, like I think that this new generation of troops that we have coming in, as, although they have their strengths. We're going to talk a little bit about the weaknesses and oh. then maybe briefly back to the strengths and then to the weaknesses and then back to the front and briefly in the middle for context, you know, and <laughs> just to smooth things out. Yeah, just smooth things out. But to the weaknesses, pieces Man. of shit. Yes. Agreed. <laughs> no, but so, you know, we grew up in 
and it's kind of like you know when you go to the VA, you see these older guys and you see their tattoos, and it'd be like you know the the naked sailor girl on the forearm, you right? Know? Yeah, yeah. And now you like you look at you, and you got fucking Homer Simpson <laughs> tattoo. I it. love that Homer Simpson tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> you got like cursive writing and yeah, a yeah. clock. Like, what does that even say? It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, the the actual curse of writing. Yeah, that's actually a disclaimer. Yeah. Like I am not responsible for any child support that may that's be right, incurred yeah, yeah. upon any actions yeah. that may or may not have occurred. By accepting what's happening. Now, anyway, um, no, it's the Edmund B. Burke quote: "All that's required for the triumph of evil is good men do nothing." Right on. Yeah, nothing, not nothing. <laughs> nothing. I'm just a absolutely, I'm, fucking yeah, nothing. absolutely fucking nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so like you see those guys, they'd have the tattoos that say like "death before dishonor." Of course. And then, like, you know, what, what you have, I think that quote was very pro- profound and uh, well, um, frequently said in our generation, yep. you know, after 9-11 specifically. Yep. And then so you have this new generation where they don't understand the concept of death before dishonor. Mm. The idea that uh, you're so dedicated to a cause, you're so um, fixed on the idea of success that you would rather die than not succeed. Yeah. And that's just not the case in a lot of generation. It's um, not. That are coming up. Nope. The idea that like, oh, well, you know, I tried my best or somebody didn't prepare me. And like, and I get that fully. I get that fully. You look at Pele Lu as a great example in World War II. They didn't need to take the island. The, even the way that they attacked it was mismanaged. It was a huge waste of human life by any way that you fucking look at it. Mm-hmm. But by God, do those Marines fucking fix bayonet in charge. Yeah, yeah. Like, what, there was still their mission. There was still enemy that needed to fucking be killed, that needed to be fucking defeated. And they did their job. Mm-hmm. As we're now... Like, you, you have all these people that post on their social media, like, oh, no, fuck that, man. I ain't going to war. Yeah. Or, like, people who, like, post, like, like oh, no, I only fucking joined for college. So, like, you miss me with that World War Three bullshit. I'm going to go UA or right. AWOL, you know? And it's kind of like the idea that they don't have the, the same mental fortitude as past generations. Mm. But I do think that the current generation is more intelligent. Yeah, no, agreed. Yeah, they... Uh, the new generation, while they're exceedingly lazier, <laughs> they <laughs> they also they have more foresight. Uh, I would say, yeah, on on the whole, they're more intelligent. I agree. I think that the uh, you know the the fact that they have the ability to look up anything on their phone at any yeah, given point exactly. in time. Yeah, exactly. We have the world in our pockets. It's so yeah, it's so lost on the the earlier generations too because they don't see it from that perspective they see it from like well when i was your age i was shoveling shit and eating that same shit or whatever they do yeah and but then we're just like okay cool i can hire somebody you know on postmates to do it for me so <laughs> yeah it's um it's lost on them yeah well, like well seeing as we're not in indiana we don't have to eat shit <laughs> <laughs> you'd be lucky to eat indiana shit okay <laughs> people walk miles for exactly. that shit. god fuck you yeah. fuck you indiana yeah so the you know, they they have the ability to um, gain information at a very rapid rate and process that information. And I feel like, you know, the old saying, like, uh, information moves at the speed of light. Yeah. And so you can definitely see that with the new generation, uh, where if they don't know how to do something, they can just YouTube a tutorial, right? A hundred percent. Where the older generation, like, they refuse to ask where the clitoris is. They refuse <laughs> to ask for directions. <laughs> Teamwork makes your girl squirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the new generation, you know, they... You know, we'll know the most eclectic random facts because they saw it in a meme, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so there is that. But then the the idea that any sort of opposition, like you, you didn't have these people that fucking like needed crying spaces and mm-hmm. shit like that back in the day. And now to our younger listeners, I, I don't mean to sound like an old piece of shit. Well, you do. So go ahead. But see, I feel like the people that listen to us, though, don't exactly identify using one of their words yeah. um, <laughs> as part of that culture. I True. get a lot of people like that will message me and be like, man, I can't fucking stand these kids that are my age or lazy, yeah, they're entitled. Yeah. And there's still people that, you know, grew up around those, you know, those uncles that came from Vietnam or their great great grandfather that was in Korea or World War Two. And they see the sacrifices they made. They see the work ethic that they had. Yeah, yeah. And that carries over. So like Mike, going forward, like if you had any any um advice to offer to this new crop of kids that are going to be showing up to Great Lakes within, you know, the upcoming months, what would yeah. you say? Um, hmm. it's, a, it's a great question, Daniel, and I thank you for it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ready for my political run. Um, honestly, man, like, uh, uh, I empathize with what you said and, like, people uh, just message you and be like, how can, how can I differ from the flock of all these, these lazy millennials or whatever? 
And um, it's not even millennials anymore. It's now it's Gen Z. Gen Z, that's true. Because okay, like, sorry. You, like, <laughs> like, uh, let's see if I get this right. Like, you're a baby boomer. I'm a millennial, <laughs> and the kids who are like in college now are Gen Z, like yeah. college and high school. I'm part of the gen- greatest generation. That's true. Um, no, uh, as far as like advice I'd have for just kids joining the military or just moving forward in life, because me being a, a 56 year old man, I, I've seen a lot. <laughs> so uh, I would honestly say just stick with what goals you have and don't let other people's opinions persuade you to do anything different than what you want to do. And I know that sounds cliche and like almost like fucking well no kidding but a lot of people lose their way because they feel peer pressure from one side or the other to do something that's not what they wanted to do and just because it sounds good on the surface doesn't mean it feels right you know in your heart so just literally do what you want to do but be smart about it and fucking be driven by whatever it is thank you for that answer (laughs) (laughs) uh your time is up senator (laughs) golf clap golf clap (laughs) yeah that's right yeah we're gonna take your AKs. Honestly, We're not being political. <laughs> no, not at all. And but I, I will say I don't carry a gun because I'm worried that fucking <laughs> beta cuck Beto is gonna come fucking oh, shit. take my gun. Right. No, I'm fucking worried that some fucking psycho yeah. that did twelve months in the National Guard mm-hmm. is gonna come shoot up the movie theater that I'm fucking jerking off in. Exactly. <laughs> like I don't get a lot of peace, ladies and gentlemen. Like, can, do you mind if I have this? Yeah, yeah. Like I paid twelve dollars for this popcorn to hide my boner. <laughs> If I want to watch the new Adams Family and jerk off, <laughs> that's my right. I should be, as an American, yes, right. I should be able to do that without right. risk of death. I know? might go see the new animated Adams Family. Yeah. It doesn't look good, but it's just like, I don't know. It kind of looks good, right? I mean, I invited you to go watch the new Rambo. <clears throat> I said, we're going to go see it. You know, no, no, no. See, like, I was like, hey, man, like, that'd be cool if, like, we went. And then you just came up to me and, like, you got out of step ladder and then you farted in my mouth. Right. And then you walked away. Yeah, it's, I was like, so was that a yes? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, you well, just... a lot of questions as but, well as a foul taste in my mouth. Well, it was a Wednesday. It was... <laughs> I'm very busy and very farty on a Wednesday, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the only thing you do on a Wednesday is get beaten 2K. Listen. Okay. <laughs> I know you want a big reaction out of me. Uh-huh. And you're not going to get it. <laughs> just but, like you didn't get the win the first time we played. So. Yeah, but I did the second time. Yeah, congratulations on a two-point win compared to my 30-point win. But it's whatever. It's fine. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Yep. Would you like to move on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Um, co-host Mike and I are both being accosted by an Instagram page called Geese Gang. Yes, yeah, we were just talking about this before we started recording. You don't know who you're messing with, motherfucker. And as juvenile and as dumb as it sounds, this makes me so happy. <laughs> Somebody took the time to do this. So whoever's running it, I applaud you and also fuck you. <laughs> One follower. One follower, yeah. Following two people. Mike Sensi in the podcast. Exactly. <laughs> They've requested to follow me, but I just want to do this live here on, on the air. Yeah. Deny. Denied. You've been denied, what, Goose Gang? Yeah. Goose Gang? Goose Gang. One post. We with that gang. <laughs> Whoever's doing it, it's very clever and it's very funny, and please keep trolling us, but fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even the right geese, man. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's Canadian geese. Canadian geese, yes. not white geese. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I went out to Area 51. Yeah, the, yeah, bullshit. give us the full rundown, yeah. So I, I, I want to play, uh, legitimately, because you haven't really told me, you just keep saying it's bullshit. Tell me, mm-hmm. like, the second you landed, what'd you do? Like, just give me the full rundown. Okay. And so go. I landed, and I did a lot of cocaine. Holy fuck, this story's boring. <laughs> 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 wow, I thought yeah, I yeah, came yeah, out the yeah, gate. Yeah, no, like, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tough crowd, go ahead. <laughs> and then I woke up on the return flight. <laughs> Jesus so Christ. I'm assuming that I went. Were you hanging out with... I'm not going to say his name either. <laughs> the person you were going to call out earlier. Um, <laughs> no, that's actually not who I was going to call out. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I was going to call out somebody else. Oh, okay. Um, but <laughs> a lot of degenerate friends. <laughs> yeah, but no, no. This friend did not come out and meet me there as he said he would. What a bum. What a bum. You know, and it's like, man, I went through all the trouble of buying the ticket mm-hmm. and getting the, the, the airplane Ugh. and the hookers and all the cocaine. Right. Like, the least you could do is tell me not to buy two people's worth of hookers and cocaine. He can't eat all those hookers himself. Yeah, seriously. I tried. <laughs> Jesus like, Christ. My God, I tried. <laughs> my God, I tried. Like, a man can only do so much. It's true. It's true. Like, you know, I was I was right there, you know. I was like, you know, death before dishonor. I was about to commit seppuku. Yeah, full sin. But full I realized sin. I wasn't holding a uh, samurai sword, and I wasn't in feudal Japan. Right. In fact, I was at a Chuck E. Cheese's, mm. and the kid was crying. Is it Chuck E. Cheese's or Chuck E. Cheese? I don't know. I'm not a pedophile, so I don't go there. It's Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also not a pedophile who orders pizza from there. 
It's Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was definitely not a uh, a samurai. Right, right. Um, I was just really high. Oh, okay. I, I think it was a, a variation of peyote mm-hmm. or whatever is legal out there, so I'll get arrested. Right, and just the desert heat on top. Yeah, I mean, I was doing a lot of strike force energy. So I was all doped up on B vitamins and... On the cleanest source of energy you can. <laughs> Strike Force Energy, use our promo code SMOKEPIT. Yes. Save yourself some money on this uh, very healthy and not drug-related supplement. That's great. It goes in your beer, goes in your water, goes in your butthole, whatever you like. Yeah. Somebody I mean, asked me if they can put it in an energy drink. I advised against it. Yeah. Just a bad idea. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I got out there <laughs> and the first thing I did was get in a cab. Or I know, it was a, it was a lift. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I got out there and the Ubers were like something ridiculous, like seven dollars. So I was like, "What am I made out of money?" <laughs> so I got a lift for six fifty, <laughs> and uh, the dude showed up and he had a military license plate. So he and I started to get talking, right? And I didn't even realize that there was these two. How do I put this? Heftier girls in the back because it was a shared ride. Thick, <laughs> hella thick, trying to smash them all now. Speed up, gas pedal. Yes, but oh. <laughs> oh. and so he and I are just you know talking about like I guess he was an army grunt and you know I was a marine grunt so you know we're talking about you know shitting in holes <laughs> just grunting at each other yeah and jerking off in socks <laughs> and then I heard like a small cough and I was like holy fuck there's people in here like <laughs> what what what, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then so like I I kind of like turned my head and I didn't have to turn it far to be able to see their mass <laughs> I was like that's no moon. <laughs> And I was wondering. That's so me. <laughs> I was wondering why the axle was way down a little bit because I'm a larger man too. So if you they're are, offsetting yes. my weight, like, exactly. I'm just saying. What like, kind of vehicle was this? Was this an Abrams as well? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like a like I don't know. I can probably tell you. I'll pull up my lift <laughs> while I'm doing that. I'll finish telling the story. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So you know, we're talking about, and I was plugging the podcast. You know, um, he informed me that he doesn't use social media. So I was like, fuck. Yeah, what a, you know? what a lame ride history. They pull this up. Yeah. And so we pull up to their hotel. And so uh, one of the gals was just like, so what are you doing tonight? Mm. And me recently, I just started seeing a young lady. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was like, uh, going to my hotel and going to sleep like a good Christian boy. Exactly. She's like, no, you're not. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) The fuck you are. And basically she was just like, um, you know, like, you know, do you want to come up to our hotel room with us? And I was like, absolutely not. Yeah. You're like, it looks like there's not enough room up there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's the way Vegas is, man. Like, if you're a halfway decent looking guy, you get that's to true. Vegas. That is true. Like, yeah, drunk yeah. cougars are all over you. That's They're catcalling me everywhere. So, you've you've touched on these women's uh, weight. Uh, what was their age? Uh, young. What is young? I would say, um, well, compared to you, most people are young. <laughs> <laughs> but the, uh, I think they would, I would say probably like uh, early to mid-20s. Oh, okay, okay. And they weren't that big. I was just being well, an asshole. Jesus Christ, I'm trying to paint a picture here. <laughs> no, they, 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 I, I, there were certain of our friends that would be preferential to those girls, if ah, you know what I mean. yes. Certain the, of... The old Alpha Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> sort of our taller friends <laughs> with beards. You know. Oh, so here's Johnny. Like, <laughs> and it didn't show what car he drove. He drives a... A total piece of shit now. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> like, yeah. He had to fucking replace the yeah, fucking shocks. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just funny to look through all their... Be like, these are all human beings. Yeah, those are all <laughs> They're all lives that I'll never see again. Yeah. Weirdos. Yeah, so, you know, I get there, and they're like, yeah, like, you should come up to the hotel room, and we can drink. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. No, nah, yeah. I'm good. And then so I, I went to the Airbnb. Nice. Yeah. And I, I walked in and punched in my core and I did a forward face plant into the bed and I woke up the next morning. Mm-hmm. Now it's kind of like end scene. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> the sunrise. Finn, Finn question mark. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So then I, I go and I wake up and I'm like, oh man, like I really need fucking coffee. Like I, I feel jet lag. Right. And just depressed as I usually do. And so I was like, all right, there's a, I know there's a veteran owned coffee shop out here. I've seen it on the, on the Facebooks and the, t- and the Twitters and the and, Twitters. Yeah. You know, the, the, and my, my tweets on the Insta face. Good, good, good. And, uh, so I punched it in, in into the Uber cause I was like, I've had enough of that lift shenanigans, you know, <laughs> like these girls are after my seed. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Good Christian boy over here. <laughs> and so I, I take a, an Uber there and as I'm pulling up, there's these fucking like tanks and helicopters. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Back in your karate stance. Yeah. You know, five feet around me at all times is a dojo. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and I, uh, I get up there, I get my coffee and there's a very plump girl working behind the counter. <laughs> 
I'm just saying you and I recognize different things. No, I guess I just like I look at them just like I have several friends that would be into you. No, I, I get. I just think it's funny. Like you just went to a different planet, just full of thick women. <laughs> <laughs> this but is America, just, but it's, it's like just the Vegas, most <laughs> yeah. obese country yeah, exactly. in the world. Yeah, that's true. You know, and you know, because the average, I actually looked this up. The average cup size in America is something ridiculous. It's like 44 double G. The average cup size in America. Yeah, see, I'll, I'll Google it because I, I never want to lie to our fans. That's true. Absolutely nothing I've ever said on this show has been hyperbole. Everything I've ever said about Mike has been 100% true. <laughs> also, I just went, why did you look that up in the first place? Because I was having a, a conversation with somebody. Um, it was uh, it was about dildos. I think it was uh, that one podcast we did, the PILF podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jeff's a prequel. Yep. And it was just like talking about how ridiculous dildos are. Like you walk into like a set shop or whatever, trying to get some fuzzy cuffs. Yeah, right. And it was right. just like the Destructicator five thousand. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know. Okay, so the average bra size in America is thirty four double D. Jesus Christ. And let's see, in the world, because I forgot what country has the biggest one. I think it might be Holland. I'm guessing Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just living out fantasies here. Yeah, but you know, so in America, as far as America goes, thirty-four double D is the that's, is the average. As the average, that's that's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, and um, yeah, so I get my coffee, <laughs> and so I walk inside, yep. and uh, there is these. Uh, I was at um, Battlefield Vegas. Um, mm. You know that video with Post Malone driving around the Humvee in Vegas with the uh, the song uh, "Big Iron." Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I that's do, yeah. that's that's where you rented the Humvee from. Hip it going, uh, go na, 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 oh. Yeah, and so <laughs> <laughs> that's the song. <laughs> no, it was it was from Fallout. It was like no, but um, he did the video for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Jesus, so read a book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't watch VH1, old man. I do. <laughs> I watch the classics, <laughs> <laughs> like Post Malone. That's right. God, I love that guy. And so we uh, come on the show, Post. <laughs> Posty, Posty. I know you listen. I know he listens. And uh, so I go inside, and I was like, like this is fucking crazy. Like, what's going on here? And the and the the gal behind the counter, she was really cute. And she was she was she thick? No, 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 yuck. No, she was like slim thick, where you could tell she worked out. Oh, okay, yeah. Gotcha. But then again, good Christian boy. Yep. So I had to like hide my eyes because that's all women want me for is for blue eyed kids. <laughs> so like I had to buy some sunshades before I continue the conversation. That's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> and so you with your tattoos. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, like we had a female guest on, so you put a hoodie. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, I'm not a piece of tattooed meat. Okay, <laughs> I'm a human being with lack of feelings. <laughs> and the the gal was just like, "Hey, we're about to crush a car with a tank. Do you want to watch?" And I was like, "Fuck yeah, I want to watch." <laughs> then I walked outside, and they ran over a car with a tank. Yeah, <laughs> and like there was a bunch of Asian tourists there, Obviously. and they didn't make a noise. And so after it like ran over the car, I like looked around. And I was like, "Woo!" Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. The only asshole. Amer- Americans make noise. Yeah, yeah that's like, what we do. Monster truck rally. Have you ever 100%, been to one? Hundred percent. Yeah. Grave digger is my shit. Yeah. You know, Grave Digger. Um, he actually has a museum like an hour south of here. Bullshit. Have you been? You have not been there. I have not been there. Hence my surprise and very real reaction to this. Okay, so um, I was taking my piece of shit X down to the Outer Banks. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and so we were driving by, and I saw a Grave Digger on the side of the road, and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> and <I> pulled over. <laughs> and it was a Grave Digger museum. You can actually drive one of the versions that's fucking dope yeah and it's that. on the way down to the outer banks let me pull that up we're going there and uh so i come back inside i was like that was fucking awesome and she was like you want to shoot machine guns i was like fuck yeah i want to shoot machine yeah, guns where am i <laughs> <laughs> like this is amazing yeah, yeah and uh so i i shot a bunch of old machine guns nice like uh the mg42 the mg34 the 1919 which looks like that old world war one like lewis grease gun the one i used to use yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then i also shot the bar Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, which, uh, to to be fair, I was not a big fan of any of them. Oh, yeah, well, it makes sense. Well, I mean, you, you've shot more modern weapons. So, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Like, there's a reason we progress. 100%. Granted, they're all iconic, so, like, I had to shoot yeah. them, you know, uh, just for the, the sake of it. But Like, yeah, would I catch a pass from Joe Montana? Absolutely. Would I rather catch a pass from, you know, uh, Patrick Mahomes? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, um, give an assist to uh, Reggie Miller in the finals? Uh, well, yeah, he needed it. <laughs> <laughs> No, but see, look, right there. That's like 45 minutes south of us right Are now. Are you serious? We could literally drive there right now. Let's it's go outside. There. Let's go there fucking What's soon. Saturday? Sunday? Today's Friday night, so tomorrow we have plans. <laughs> yeah. Sunday. Let's do Sunday. All right, Sunday. We'll, yeah. go, we'll go check out Grave Digger. Fuck yeah. And uh, yeah, so I shot machine guns. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I went and I uh, walked the ship for a little while. Nice. And here comes the Area 51 thing. Mm-hmm. 
Super fucking expensive to get out there. Okay. Because I thought somebody's coming with me, so I was going to rent a car. They never showed up, so I was like, well, you know, I'll just take a cab out there. You know who you are. <laughs> There's actually several people said they were yeah, going to Yeah, I was, I, I was trying to yeah. blank a statement. Yeah, you know who you use. Use guys and girls. Or if you're from Pittsburgh, yins. yins. You know who yins are. <laughs> Pittsburgh. Yeah, and uh, so I tried to get out there, and there was uh, just difficulty after difficulty after difficulty most people thought it was going to be saturday morning it was actually friday morning at 3 a.m so after the raid was already over people are posting memes like hey you ready for the raid tomorrow <laughs> and i'm like just bitter as fuck yeah, you yeah, know yeah. like you assholes yeah and uh, so the cab ride out there was super fucking expensive there was no uh, street lights there was no fucking signal the gps kept going out like, um, there's fucking nothing. We st- We asked somebody for directions. Like, they gave us bum directions. A hundred fucking dollars out there. A hundred dollars fucking back. By the time I got there, like, it was uh, a little bit after 3 a.m. And most mm-hmm. of the 12 people who showed up had already dispersed under pain of, you know, federal right. and local law enforcement overreaction. See, but I, I, all of us who weren't there, obviously, we, mm-hmm. we saw the, the postings and the news articles and stuff. And it looked like there was a sizable crowd for a hot Photoshop. second. Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, makes Most sense. Most of those pictures were Photoshop. Fair enough. I've lived my life doubting everything I hear, so this is not news to me. Yeah, because like, the thing you would see is you'd see like two shots that were like a lot of people outside of the fence, and you'd see like one asshole there with like uh, a foil hat on. Right, right. And there would always be like side by side. And like legitimately if you like look at the real pictures or whatever it's Mm -hmm. like this like one person yeah yeah. you know and there's maybe like there's more law enforcement there than there were raiders or whatever that makes sense granted i wasn't trying to raid the fucking thing but you know just the idea of being out there hopefully i'd get some good content yeah for sure it's fucking bust so it was cold i was fucking hungry like it was just bullshit (laughs) yeah well and so then i went out to a place called uh gunship helicopters and I shot a M249 out of a moving helicopter. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Yeah, to say the least. And it uh, it was fucking awesome because, like, they were super professional. And, like, uh, you got your safety brief. You got your rounds. You went up there and in the fucking helicopter. And you just got to fucking, like, lay waste to these targets. And it was, like, Ivan's. And, like, uh, like they had a car up there and, like, a bunker. Cool, which I don't know cool. how they got the car up there, which is right, pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> and, like, tires and stuff. So it was, like, little fortified positions. That's and pretty I, cool. I went through about a drum worth of ammo. Okay. And they had video and all that. Um and so it was a really cool fucking experience. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. And so, and then I did some other cool stuff while I was in Vegas. Um, more so stuff that I would think w- was cool compared right. to like other people. Right. Uh, but yeah, and then I came home. <laughs> yeah. Whew. So what did you do while I was gone? What did I do? A lot of DoorDash. Yeah. Um, I didn't do anything. What did I do? I didn't do anything. No, I don't think you did. Oh, I, th- I thought you were like leaning towards like you have an announcement. I was no, like, no, I just I didn't. want to embarrass you publicly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't, didn't do anything. I just sat on the couch missing you. <laughs> yeah, it went five and two in Madden. Jesus Christ. I'm actually, yeah, I missed the playoffs that year. Yeah. That's bullshit, man. I don't want to talk about it. Do you have anyone to blame? Just the just the coaching staff. And the <laughs> <laughs> the, the guy playing the calls. The, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the guy playing the game. Yeah, all that shit. Yeah, the guy making the, uh, the, uh, the play calls. Like, I don't know. It's just like we were saying that that new generation where they always want to find an excuse. <laughs> this show is always full circle like that. Yeah, it really is. Um, speaking of which, um, full circle, circle like this can of pomade. I, I got nothing. Yeah, on, I got, yeah, I'm I was like, wondering. Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, check we out. just got the two minute signal, so I got to wrap it. <laughs> yeah, check out our other sponsor, Combat Comb Over, uh, amazing hair products and beard oil and pomade. They're coming out with a new scent called uh, I think it's Basic Bitch. We're supposed to be like a pumpkin spice, uh, nice fucking scented pomade. Yeah. So if you want to smell like pumpkin pumpkin spice, who doesn't? Yeah, in your beard or your hair, or if you you know got a bush down there and you want to tame it because you have a, a gentleman collar coming. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> check that out. Also check out Grill Your Ass Off promo yes. code uh, Smoke, smoke pit. pit. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's about it. I think we're good, man. Anything yeah. else we want to cover? Nah, just. Uh, Thanks, everybody, for what you do. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for listening, loving, and learning, and growing. Yeah, and uh, congratulate EP Mike on his uh, on his free newfound success. Yes, send him nudes in his DMs because he needs it. Yeah, oh, and the VA fucked him. So if you know anybody who's offering scholarships for college, uh, shoot him a message because these fuckers are going to cut his GI Bill like two months short of his master's degree. How yeah, fucked is that? That's pretty fucked. Um, yeah, so if you know anything about that or if you want to set up a fucking GoFundMe, uh, for, for sure. Him. Shoot him a message. Yeah. And stay tuned because we're going to have our interview with our golden ticket slash golden cream pie winner right after this. You hate calling it the golden cream pie. I hate it so much <laughs> it makes me cringe. Whose idea was it? 
EPs, who else would it be? <laughs> so what would you have called it? I would have called it the fucking golden ticket. <laughs> <laughs> no, you would have called it burp, I'm hungover. <laughs> Angrily drinks his beer. I don't need this kind of attack. Enjoy the interview. Hi. Welcome to the smoke pit. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So how's your evening going? Uh, just got off work, just got home, so. I, I am having good. a terrible day. Why? Because <laughs> I ordered sweet, sweet, delicious Taco Bell, and Postmates canceled my order without telling me. Mm-hmm. Dude, they did that with Chipotle yesterday for me. They just never showed up with the food, said it was delivered, and it was nowhere to be found. EP, do you mind not making noise back there? <laughs> Opening bottles, closing lids, fucking with shit. Do we talk about you just not picking stuff up and looking at it? <laughs> Get that out of your mouth. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, so I'm currently in, in the middle of writing them a very scathing review. Mm. Because I was expecting oh, okay. sweet, sweet, delicious chalupas in and around my mouth, but I am chalupaless. Yeah, you are without chalupa. Yeah. Sure. So, do you want to pick up the interview? Why? I, why <laughs> is that what we're doing? Yeah, an angry review. Sure. Next, okay. No problem. I, I'm not even joking either. No, like, he is. He's using his watch. <laughs> so, tell us about yourself and how you got into the show. Very angry is the title. Um, <laughs> uh, my boyfriend got me into it. He is active Air Force and. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he was like, babe, you got to listen to this. I'm like, okay, sure, and listen to it, fell in love with it, subscribed, started listening every week. So Good. Yeah. This is a good story so far. Yeah. So yeah. Where, where, where were you and what were you doing when you found out you had won the golden ticket slash golden cream contest? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was passed out on the bed drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um. My, my boyfriend deployed the following Monday, so we had gone out partying beforehand. And um, he was the one sober one, shockingly. Mm-hmm. And um, I was upstairs, passed out, and he was like, babe, your pop smoke thing came in. And I'm like, I got the ticket! And I didn't actually think I'd get it, and yeah. onto the bed plopped the golden cream pie. So. <laughs> it's not normally now, where they go. <laughs> was that before or after you opened the package? <laughs> there, yeah, yeah. Leave that to your imagination. Hey. <laughs> I mean, I was just saying, you said he was deploying, so I figured uh, that's yeah, that was my pre-deployment ritual, you know, try to throw a bun in the oven so she doesn't go out and party with her whole friends. No, mine was just to cry a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it still is. It remains to this day, that tradition. Right on. <laughs> so what do you do for a living? Um, I work in aviation. I do, we do repairs for aircraft components, and then I'm also a figure skating coach, so I do two jobs. <laughs> Oh, very cool. Have you uh, taught, have you got any of your uh, your students to Tanya Harding someone? Not yet. It's okay. in works. It's yeah. in works. <laughs> we actually got a pair of uh, skates signed by her that we gave to a uh, climb four for the raffle. Oh no shit! Yeah, that was do- donated by um, Scott Davison from GCO and Burbiz. Oh, he's so cool. Yeah. So awesome. <laughs> Our uh, our executive producer, uh, EP Mike, he actually just got picked up to be a docent at the local aviation museum. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It was useless knowledge to uh, exactly. to good use. About fucking time. About fucking time. <laughs> helped, uh, a cute little aviation girlfriend, you know? Yep. Yeah. So if you had any advice for uh, EP Mike on how to pick up a girl who's in <laughs> aviation, uh, what would you tell him? Uh... I don't know because I hate aviation. Um, <laughs> I hate my job. Yeah, he's going to walk my, up to the girl there and think, like, this is all I find my chance. She's going to be like, I fucking hate this. Yeah. Kick him in the dick and run away. No, just find a way to tie planes into dicks and you'll, you'll figure it out. Nice. Nice. So, you know, the old, uh, be like, you know, do you want to see how you start a propeller? Hel- right, exactly. <laughs> that would do wonders. <laughs> and give, him, give her the old helicopter. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So tell us, how'd you meet your boyfriend? Uh, through mutual friends. Yeah, it was just one of my friends. It was it was her best friend. She introduced us and it took about three years before I finally said okay to a date. <laughs> and uh, three years. a long con, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Mike here will give up on a girl after three texts. Yeah, for sure. Oh, no, he held out for the long game. He did good. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, good shit. So you, you treating him right then? You rewarding Always. him for all his diligence? Very much so, yes. Do you... Um, do you shine his, uh, his, his, his ribbons and, or his medals and stuff before inspections, his buckles? Like, do you help him with all that? Help him with everything before inspections, good. yeah. That's good. Idea. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, they don't <laughs> No, it's Air Force. They don't do inspections. Come on. Oh, no, I was going to say anything. Yeah, that was good. And what does he do in the Air Force? 
Uh, he's a crew chief for the KC-135s. Nice. 130. The refuel jets. Okay. Yeah. So does he come home smelling like fuel? Every day. Every day. And when he doesn't shower and he's sitting at home playing PlayStation when I get home, all you can smell is jet fuel. <laughs> It's a great time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it must be a, a military thing. You come home and just like, oh, I'm not showering. I'm just gonna play PlayStation. It's the best. It thing. doesn't happen often, but it, it does happen. <laughs> yeah, at least he doesn't have an Xbox like a heathen. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he has. He has both, but he's he's a PlayStation guy. Good, good. So he's an adult. Cool. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so if you have a, a favorite episode or a fra favorite moment from the show, something that kind of like you know you had to you find yourself thinking about later. Um, it was the episode where, I can't remember who's telling the story, but it was the one whose kid did the do with his mom and got her pregnant. Mm. I was at a Starbucks drive through with it on speaker, listening to it in my car, and the lady handed me my coffee as that part hit, and I just looked at her, I'm like, have a great day! <laughs> 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 Whew. Yeah, that's uh, so a real crowd pleaser, that one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was a great one. <laughs> we definitely get a lot of messages about people who were like listening to it on speaker and then like one of their subordinates or superiors or like a, a female coworker will walk by mm -hmm. and they're like, ah, sorry. Yeah. 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 I've learned not to put on speaker after that. So you know, there, there's a reason they, they have explicit on it. <laughs> Nobody ever cares. I didn't think it was going to get that explicit though. I mean, that was like, Hey, you did I. <laughs> so if you were if you were in Mike's shoes, what would what would you have told that young devil dog about the uh, the one who got his mom pregnant? If uh, those of you who didn't hear that episode, I send a new message to EP Mike and he'll uh, direct you to it. <laughs> uh, wrap it before you pack it. <laughs> <laughs> before you pack your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Probably honestly. Yes. Yeah, that seems more just like you know after the fact, like well, you should have worked hard and we banged exactly. your mom. Yeah. Like, what are all these classes for if not to bang your mom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, things get a little fucking wild. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you have any questions for us? Ah. Uh, God, you put me on the spot. I have no idea. <laughs> um, best bromance moment between you two? Oh, that's a good question. There's just so many. <laughs> yeah, so we like thinking. Uh, we were on our way down to San Antonio. Uh, we were going to do um, a collaboration with Grunt Style and be on the, uh, the Drinking Bros podcast. Mm -hmm. And I think we were in a layover this is in my, Charlotte. This is my answer too, actually. Yeah, yeah. And I was having a bit of anxiety because there was a lot going on in my life at the time. And uh, the airport was crowded and loud and a lot of bright lights and EP Mike was farting. And yeah, it, was yeah. just, it was just a lot to take in. Gross. And uh, so there's a picture, I think it's on your Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. yeah where uh, like uh, I have my head on his lap where like he's sitting down and I'm laying down using his leg as a pillow and we're holding hands. Mm hmm. Completely organic. It just kind of happened. Yeah. And so, you know, just the beauty of a Marine and his corpsman. God damn it. Why do I <laughs> Don't mean that fall forward your bald spot or something. Am I? <laughs> well, it's, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was just a real beautiful moment. I believe it actually won the uh, the Pulitzer uh, prize. Up for, here it did. Yeah, for <laughs> being journalism. That's right. Won uh, several, several uh uh, Teen Choice Awards. Yes. <laughs> One best picture at the homo erotic. Uh, <laughs> 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 but no, it, it wasn't like, it, it wasn't that serious. I really just wanted to hold hands mm -hmm. and use his meaty thighs as a pillow. Yeah. As yeah. one would, of course. <laughs> as I am one to do. As he's one to do. So what about you? No, that's my answer. Yeah, yeah. So you got to have something else. What happened? <laughs> uh, romance moment. It doesn't have to be with me. <clears throat> If that's what you're thinking. I, I think that, well, that well, that was your question, though, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, it could have been with Mike. Yeah. Or like EP. Uh, my there best, you go. My best bromance moment with EP mm -hmm. was when uh, a stripper held his head between her thighs, <laughs> and the other one whipped him with his own belt <laughs> for his birthday. <laughs> for his birthday. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is now, there a video of this? There is a picture, but that will never be released. I promised him. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I would probably have to say my best bromance moment with uh, with EP, um, where we were having a bit of a party at the house, and there were some girls over, and he had a chance with one, and he got like super fucking drunk, and uh, just started violently throwing up everywhere, and you know I, I carried him to bed, and I tucked him in, and kissed him on the forehead, wiped the dribble from his mouth, he doesn't remember it, and... <laughs> So don't believe any uh, stories to the contrary. It's mm -hmm. exactly how it's told. Right, right. now I'm listening. Yeah. 
No, but it was just one of those moments where I started singing Phil Collins, You'll Be in My Heart, mm -hmm. and kind of rocked him to sleep. For sure. Yeah. I mean, you undressed him when you put him to bed, right? With my eyes, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But he wasn't <laughs> sober enough to give consent. I'm not a monster, so. Hard to finger. Nice answer, nice answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so you got anything else for us before we get back to, um, well, I don't know, we don't really have lives. We're, we're, we're not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, you uh, interrupted us doing a uh, a very cheeky skit that is kind of directionless. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> not going. Oh, in. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. no you're fine. And uh, I mean, this is the time we told you to call, so it's really <laughs> right. Yeah. Our poor planning. Yeah. Mike, you got yeah. any questions? Anything you want to add? No, just uh, congratulations again. Uh, we Thank really you. Uh, appreciate you guys' support. Uh, give your boyfriend our best. So him good luck out there. And uh, if you were gonna. Uh, recommend the show to anybody how would you pitch it hilarity at its finest and not to be offended easily <laughs> i like it i'm good with that <laughs> okay. uh one last question if you had yeah. any um criticism for co-host mike what would you say <laughs> i'm kidding i'm not gonna put you in the spot <laughs> like that show <laughs> your tats more <laughs> show my tats more yeah, yeah you're right I'll be naked for the next episode. No, the, no, statistically speaking, the shows where he wears tank tops get more views. I mean, have you seen him? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I've been very apparent about <laughs> yeah. this. It's the tattoos. It's the tattoos. Girls love the tattoos. I agree. I, I agree. would like to think that there's more than that. Like, if he was tattoo list, he'd still, you know, he'd still have appeal. Yeah. Despite what people think. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Then I had to start getting tattoos. <laughs> So you think I should, I should start getting sleeves to help my curb appeal? For sure. That was yeah. Awesome. yeah. I told you. Do that. it. What kind, yeah. of, what kind of uh, tattoos do you see me with? Well, you need to have a cream pie in there somewhere. I agree. Like, like a pie, not an actual, like, you know, load off, but you yeah. know, <laughs> a pie. So like somewhere a little baker pie with like a crown on it, yeah. you know? Yep. Something yeah. like that mixed in there at the very least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I can get like a, like a camera for EP mic. Mm. And then I can just get be that as it may for AJ. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, crush her. Yeah, <laughs> crush her right there. Be that as it may. Yeah, I mean, it would give me an incentive to keep my neck beard trimmed up. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's important. Yeah. All right. So, final question for you. Yes. <laughs> if somebody doesn't listen to the show, what should they do? Correct themselves. I can't hey, say hey, the way hey, you hey, do. <laughs> we did not prompt you. <laughs> 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 it was going to be like you don't actually listen to the show. <laughs> well, thank you so much yeah, yeah. for uh, thank taking you guys. the time to join us. Uh, um, Grant, uh, given that EP doesn't actually delete this, uh, this should be featured on the end of the next episode. And uh, do you have any uh, any last words? Uh, where can people find you on social media? Do you want to be found? Yeah, so if you want that, we have thousands. Yeah, I had I had a few creepers add me after the the Instagram <laughs> thing. Of course, right. I accept them. Because why the hell not? But yeah. Instagram's best place. Sure. And what's your Instagram handle? Skatey Jamie. S K A T E Y J A M I E. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for uh, for taking the time to join us tonight. Uh, thank you for your support of the show. We just hit two hundred fifty thousand downloads and seven thousand uh, video streams. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, so we're, we're pretty excited. Uh, we got some big travel coming up in the future, so we're going to wrap up season two within the next month or so. And then we'll uh, we'll get poised to launch for season three. Yeah, I'm excited. And notice we're not in our usual uh, recording studio. We're a little transient right now, but we're just getting prepared hey, for the next right. chapter. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> and for those of you who are listening to this, make sure you watch the video on YouTube just to see how perfectly quaffed co-host Mike's hair is. Looking crushing. Yeah, he really is. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. And yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye.